So we just had the most fantastic afternoon. Right, so final preparations are underway. Just getting the last few things packed up. And then tomorrow morning, meeting Chris and Ryan on the road. Not sure exactly where, probably a service station on the way. But first five nights Matumba, can't wait. As most of you know, this is my Echo 5 off-road trailer. And this is gonna be my home for the next month on the road. With the final few items packed, I went to bed full of excitement, realizing that I was about to undertake a 4,000 kilometer journey, which included searching for some of Africa's most breathtaking views and most dangerous animals. The 28 day journey would test myself and my equipment to its limit but would carve the path for more adventures within South African borders in the future. I also decided to add some personal touches to the Land Cruiser and Echo. The first five nights would be at Matamba Bush Camp in the Waterberg, and having recently received heavy rainfall, it should make for some champagne camping. To another exciting series of videos and this trip is a little bit different we are not allowed to travel into Botswana at the moment so we are here at Matamba bush camp our usual stopover for Botswana but instead 
we're heading north in South Africa which means we're gonna visit I think five different locations over the next 20 days it's gonna be absolutely amazing hey we got here yesterday relaxed and this morning the heavens opened everything is green wet summer is here absolutely fantastic with Chris from Get Out Go, Ryan from 4x4 Ventures, we're going to be doing some videos for Overlanding Escape, the YouTube channel we've started as the trio, which is going to be really awesome. And oh, great to be back out here. I've never seen Matamba looking like this. It's a magical campsite and enjoy the journey. Matamba is fantastic, with by far the best bathrooms you'll ever find at a campsite. It's also surrounded by huge white syringa trees, which in the summer months makes the bushveld come alive. For a full review, head to Get Out Go, link in the description below. We relaxed and looked forward to a very exciting day tomorrow. The three of us have built up somewhat of a community over the past two years and what a great experience it was to have a couple of supporters join us for a couple nights of camping at the beginning of this trip. From all of us at Overlanding Escape, thank you for your support. We unwinded and prepared to leave for our next destination the following day. Bloberg Nature Reserve, here we come. We left Matamba at around 9 o'clock this morning, filled up with water, filled the trailers with water, used the amazing ablutions for the last time. Thank you, Mark, Sue and Alan for making an incredible campsite. It is next level. Wow, it was a fantastic five days at Matamba. The overlanding escape weekend went really well. Thank you to everyone that uh, joined. And now we are on our way to Bloberg nature reserve 
and the road is absolutely awful so it was pretty good for 100 k's we got 124 left there are many many potholes and often you have to leave the road you know you have to go there's a strip of dirt on the side of the road you have to take that one like right now and yeah i can see why it takes three and a half hours it's never been to Bloberg before it's gonna be awesome get there it is cooking 34 degrees celsius so i think we might pull into the campsite wait a little bit for the sun to get a bit lower before we put up the trailers but wow it's been an amazing trip so far and it's just started so yeah let's get to Bloberg. Everything seems to be fine, but yeah, I think we're just going to take it easy. So we arrived at uh, Bloberg quite late yesterday afternoon, around 4 o'clock. Getting here from Matamba took a lot longer than we originally thought. But yeah, what a magic drive here. Hey, We did, did it mostly on gravel, which was awesome. But there was quite a lot of maneuvering to get all three trailers and all three vehicles into the campsite here. We've got a big Nyala tree in the middle we are struggling with our solar panels for sun so that's why we had to sort of try and figure out how we got in and this afternoon we're heading out on an afternoon drive so chris has actually been here before so he's going to show us around the bloberg nature reserve hopefully we visit some baobabs and tomorrow the lookout point and the 4x4 trail but yeah let's see what bloberg's about
can't believe the difference in temperature between tonight and last night. Last time I checked the temperature gauge in the vehicle yesterday it was 40 degrees. Today 22. So let's try warm us up with some chicken burgers and I'm making the burgers from scratch. Chicken mince, basil pesto, pineapple, lettuce, obviously the hamburger rolls and yeah it should be a cracker. What we're gonna do Head into the Snowmaster fridge and grab the baby marrow and carrots, which I'm going to grate and put them in combination with the chicken mince. Plenty of space in this fridge for good fresh veggies. So probably two carrots and three baby marrows. So obviously this is a very long trip. So I'm obviously running two big fridges to keep all the veggies and fruit nice and cold as well as the beer and keep the meat frozen so i'm going to do is crack two eggs in here and mince spine together shape them into patties and onto the bra they go. to engage low range. The 4x4 track to the summit isn't too technical, but I would recommend using low range, as well as having a vehicle with decent clearance and all-terrain tires. Bloberg also harbors the biggest breeding colony of Cape vultures in the world. The breeding colony hosts more than 1,000 breeding pairs. The view, however, is absolutely spectacular. South Africa is a completely different place in summer, with the lush bush felt after the heavy rains, where the calls from the migratory summer birds, such as the red-chested cuckoo, are in abundance. So it's been a fantastic time here at Bloberg. Just been relaxing today, charging up the camera gear, dumping footage, that sort of stuff. Fantastic early morning drive up to the top of the mountain here at Bloberg. The view was absolutely insane, eh? Wow. So we've had a couple of problems here. Only now has the sun finally come out for solar power and the sun's in the wrong spot. So we've been struggling with the solar. 
Chris has just put two new lithium batteries in his trailer so he's got no problem those things are absolutely insane holding the charge and charging up really quickly uh, I'm just managing to limp through on the Echo just seems like I'll get through here because tomorrow we head to Mapungubwe where there is 220 power so we shouldn't have a problem there and poor old Ryan he's really struggling with batteries so you might have to pop in to either Musina or All Days tomorrow to try get a battery for him or battery or two but otherwise fantastic we're gonna try and make the best of the last couple of hours here I think I might just drive to the bird hide and have a nice sundowner watch the sunset but wow, absolutely amazing stay at Bloberg. Can't wait to go to Mapungubwe. I've wanted to go there for a long time. So that's going to be awesome. But yeah, Bloberg, I'd highly recommend it. It is quite uh, wild here. So the ablutions aren't that great. But our campsite is superb. And if you want a full review, go and check Chris's channel out. Get out, go. I'll link the channel as well as the video, the review for this uh, campsite in the description below. So go check it out. But yeah, let's go and enjoy the bird hide. Driving around the 93,600 square kilometer Bloberg Reserve, I feel like I'm driving in a remote area of Botswana. We didn't see another vehicle during our stay at Bloberg, and its main features, including its enormous mountain range and baobabs, were simply magnificent. Using Chris's past experience, as well as the Tracks for Africa app, navigating around Bloberg presented no issues.
Thank <laughs> you.